Hi everybody! Welcome back to Two Tears in a Bucket List. I'm Nicole. Hey, I'm... Oh, sorry. I don't know if you guys could hear me. Let me take off my Two Tears in a Bucket List mask with my matching shirt. I'm the Sante. <laughs> well, we are here today to talk about our vision board event that we had recently. It was... Amazing. Amazing. I got to join Sante on this one. This is part of hers. So tell us a little bit about it. So um, I chose this event because I think a lot of times people um, choose to do vision boards at the beginning of the year. So I've done vision boards before. Um, it was more of a bucket list for me to do it in the middle of the year. The beginning of the year, a lot of people make their New Year's resolutions, but you never think about, okay, what do I do in the meantime? So this so was a great opportunity to um, get people together, to brainstorm, come up with some things, and think about what it is that you want to do, what it is that you want to see come to fruition, what do you want to manifest, you know, how, how you want to get there. Um, I always like to, to say faith without works is dead. So these are things that you believe and you know that you can do and you have faith that you can do it, but you still have to put in the work, which is a great, uh, opportunity and which turned out to be a great event because these are all the things that I'm going to be working on. I've actually started working on it. We, some of the ladies that were at the event, um, we have a group text and we, daily encourage each other inspire one another and get updates like hey so you know nicole how's it going on you know this thing that you said you wanted to do and nicole kind of let us know so it's not that we want to bug each other and be like you know why aren't you doing it yeah exactly that's totally not our intentions it's about accountability and being there for one another um i'm just gonna say this vision boy party was very enlightening it was and, and, I, and it was it was different than anything that we've done any of the other videos that you guys have seen um previously um this one was kind of a let's bring things back set everything back and let's talk and kind of find your focus and um how are you going to obtain your goals and i mean elizabeth uh, amazing. Was it Elizabeth Iyanla Van Zandt? Yeah, that's what we're <laughs> going to call her from now on. Amazing woman. Amazing woman of God. Amazing woman of everything. She just has information on everything about everything. And so, <laughs> I mean, she led the whole thing. And yes. I mean, she talked about vision boarding and journaling and how you can put the two together so you're gonna see all of this and we're hoping that it's gonna inspire you to you know set out your goals and manifest your destiny and I mean like this right here this is what I came up with and I mean I'm already ready to start journaling and putting my thoughts and how I'm gonna achieve these into my journal which I had never thought about doing because I just thought, oh, create a vision board. I'm right. done. Quick. Right. And, and then tying the two together. This has just been very enlightening and I'm inspired to keep going. And I hope that I continue on because I want to start journaling about how to get to these goals. So that's something that um, you will see in the video that um, she talks about journaling. Um, we had moments. She made us think. She pulled things out of us. She questioned, you know, with the, the things that were simple, you know, like maybe, you know, maybe I want to, um, whatever it is that I want to do. And her question was, so what does that look like? Mm -hmm. You know, just simple things. One of my things, I can tell you, one of my, one of the, uh, uh, the goals on my board was, um, in regards to mentoring and every day simple something that I should know but I wanted to like st you know find a mentor and my question was I don't even know how to do that simple answer from Elizabeth just ask 
I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. Well, that's easy. And I did, and I did, and it's happening. I have a mentor, awesome, awesome mentor. And just, again, it, it's something that was on my board and I'm very excited for this journey. And yeah, excited to see what happens. So get ready and enjoy. We have a lot to share and um, just hope that you're inspired. Um, one thing that I did want to bring up, Nicole, um, just in, in relation to inspiring others and um, being inspired by others, uh, one of your sons yes. was inspired to do something. He wrote a book. So this book is available on, on Amazon. Amazon. Um, <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. These are things that, that we love. So not only are we inspired, but he inspired us. And we hope that we are inspiring you to do the same. So let's get those goals started. This is the middle of the year type of situation. Right. And this is what we're looking for. But, <laughs> but thank you to everyone who did come out to the event. Everyone who was transparent in their thoughts, their ideas, their energy, which was amazing. Oh my goodness. We do plan on having a follow-up event sometime later on in the year just to kind of regroup and gather and any new people that would like to come and join, please oh, yes. feel free to do so because better late than never. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, share, like, like, and subscribe to Two Tears and a Bucket List. We are almost to 100, so let's keep getting those subscribers and help us reach our goals. Thank you. Bye. We out. Is okay, that money got long. Ain't on my soul that fed my hunger. Short lived flame, yelling my name. Gear bikes done, drove me insane. Gang on gang, you bang that name. That whole damn complex hate my name. I keep shit short, real cheesy low. low. Set sail and I rock slow. Sip the sips and I got that dough. That's all I'm about. Hold up, bitch, better watch your mouth. Took that blueprint, made my house from couch to cloud. My speakers bounce. Hey there everybody, so I'm here at Mardell's and this is a great place to find different education supplies and tools and different things for um, religion and um, it's actually a Christian bookstore. So um, I usually go here for all of my school stuff and um, decoration. So I figured this might be great for our vision party, um, that's vision board party that's happening on Sunday. But before I got here, I had to stop and get this. Oh my gosh, if you haven't had these, they are amazing. So I can't wait to get out of here and get home and taste test all of the cookies. And I'll let you know how they are.
we're here today at the time is now it's nutrition and energy shop and we're getting ready to start our vision boards for this year following years is good so what are some things that we might be excited about in doing our vision board I am excited about just seeing everything on my board come to life. Like living out the things that I have set as a goal. I'm excited about the things that I've actually thought about, actually putting them actually on the board, actually yeah. getting them out of my head and actually onto the board. Oh, yeah. I am super excited about <clears throat> just hanging out with you guys today, but also, you know, what it looks like and how writing your vision is biblical as Christians. And oftentimes, you know, we see it in the in the world, like, oh yeah, write your vision out, have these vision boards the first part of the year, but then by February, nobody's doing anything, right? So it's like sharing what I know, what I've learned, and then writing it out continuously, like making it a lifestyle. Yeah. Not yeah. just fun, you know, the one-time fun thing. Mm -hmm. And that's what me and Santi were talking about. Like, this is a lifestyle thing. We don't want it to be just uh, one thing. I think it's perfect that this is the day we're kicking it off. You know the first thing we're doing with two tears in the bucket mm -hmm. um because it's perfect timing because this is day one and so then always have that day one right and just going back to it and what it looks like and having that vision for your life so yeah i'm excited and i'm excited to be hanging out with everybody again too and yes. just putting my goals and my vision and manifesting my destiny onto paper and then making it real in life so and i can't wait to see what my little ones do here. Yes. Hey, little ones. Go sneeze. Do you want to say how much you're excited? What's going on? No, not good. Okay. Are you excited about the teas, at least? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> good news. <laughs> I'm excited, that too, that there's young ladies here, right? Oh, my gosh. Because yes. I think we, you and I talked about something, you know, Nicole and I talked about it. The stuff we didn't know when we were kids to do, and that our moms maybe didn't share, or they shared, but we didn't really understand it. So now, like, it's the generation giving back, right? So we're showing them, hey, this is what you can do, live your life as a young woman, and be part of the last forever. So super excited. And I am excited to have all of y'all here, sampling my tea, yes. supporting me, and bringing my visions to life. Putting yes. on paper yes. and seeing them, I manifest and bring my visions. Oh, yes. So it's my first yes. time. And yeah, I just want to say, yeah, this yeah, obviously is a stuff. vision because look at this place, right? You obviously know how to implement and to manifest things because we wouldn't be here if you didn't have the vision for it. That's right. So this in itself is a manifestation and a vision. So just want to hype that up just for a second. Like, point the camera. Point where you can mix your journaling with your um, vision board. So we all know the word. It says Habakkuk 2 and 2 tells us to write the you know vision and make it clear. So I wanted to share that because... It's biblical, right? I don't care where you are on the spectrum uh, as far as your faith and going to church or, oh, you know, if you have a relationship with Christ, that's why I wanted you to, to know that. He said, write the vision. Like, if I want to lose five pounds, what does that look like? But then also break it down, right? Um, and if you don't write the vision and make it clear, which means you ain't going to be overly complex, it just write it down. That's it. All you got to do is write it down. And then from there, you can build your goals. You know, so we're gonna do some vision boarding today. I've done the big, the, the little boards, the, the small boards, the big ones, the I have them all over my, <laughs> over my closet. I've done the electronic ones, but what shifted for me is when I took the action, and I had an emotion tied to it. And I can't remember if I shared that with y'all, but it's really important to have an emotion tied to your goal because what is part? What is after the e mot motion? Is movement. So if you don't have an emotion tied to it, then you probably aren't gonna move. And so it's gonna be there year after year after year after year, which does nothing for you. And so this today uh, doesn't stop here. It keeps going. So share this whole story with the next woman that you know, your friends, your family. So this vision board part is not just about putting it on paper, but it's really what do you believe and what is gonna occur because you have to have an emotion and action to make it happen. You can write, we can find all the people's paper, all the pictures, all the statements, put it on your whatever, on the billboard on 121. <laughs> but if you're not taking some action toward it, it's not gonna make a difference at all. Obviously we're here, we're probably gonna share some things, we're gonna see some things, 
But this is between you and God because this basically is a prayer on paper. God, this is what I believe. This is what I'm going to see. Okay. Yeah, that was good. I know. I'm going to switch mine from a vision board to a journal. I know. I want that. That's my first one. Me too. Me too. Well, you know, I was thinking. I can send the thing ahead. I was thinking of creating my vision board, but writing my writing in my journal about how to accomplish it. Yes, I've done like that too. Uh Yeah. Okay. That makes yeah. sense. Because I'm just sitting here like totally inspired. Me, me too. I'm like, I need to Aww. rethink some things and I need to what? redo my thing. Yeah. Yeah. I am wealthy and I am fearless. Mm, Love awesome. it. So, this one is a well, scripture. It says, so John was his name, which I find really funny. And 22 is the year I graduate and 16 is like a really big year that I had. But it says, so with you, now is your time of grief, but I will see you again and you will rejoice and no one will take away your joy. That oh, is so beautiful. I love that. Yeah. Hey everybody, it's Dante, and I just wanted to share with you um, a few things on my vision board. First, overall, I have um, faith without works is dead, because I can want everything on this board, but if I'm not putting in the work, then it's going to take a long, longer for me to get there. So um, the things that I plan to put in the work to do and that I have faith that I can do is um, starting with my mental health. I want to learn to... Um, do daily meditation so I already every morning listen to my morning worship on my way to work that's my time for myself and 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 that's what I do but I want to learn to do it with a clear mind so and not just think about stuff like when I'm when somebody says can you pray for me and then I pray for them but I'm also thinking about a million other things but I'm also praying so I want to do everything with a clear mind so um, that's pretty much all my board all, or everything on my board I also wanted to say um, to everyone sometimes people look at the destination and not the journey and that's what this whole thing is about is the journey and getting to be in a better place and a better you thank you you go girl my spiritual quote today i can do all things through christ that strengthens me and that has been my spiritual verse also for the last past two years, just as well. And that's what I go by. Love it. Thank you. I love it. And I want to thank everybody for coming out and supporting me. And I want to first thank God for bringing new friends and people into my life to give me positive energy and vibes instead of all the negative that I always endured all my life. And so, I am so ready for this spiritual journey with you ladies, and I thank you all so very, very much. I want to create a budget and save more and find that financial freedom. And this is my quote, pay that off. I'm happy to be me. I may not be perfect, but I'm honest, loving, and happy. I never try to be anything that I'm not, and I'm not here to inspire anyone else. I am me. That's something that I need to live. Um, it's a quote from someone. I'm sorry. I don't know. But it was perfect for me in my life. Um, okay. So this is my vision board. It is. I want. I love skin, hair, makeup, all the things. 
but the biggest thing for me is skincare. So what I have found is that I want to find a black owned, women owned skincare business. And I found out probably a few years ago that my grandmother used to make her own skin creams, teas, all those things. And so I'm like, oh, that's why I'm so connected to her. So this is Rebecca and James 1947 which is named after my grandmother and my grandfather. And it is a, my desire is to own a natural skincare business. Um, so it talks about detoxing your skin, the beauty that is found in that, all the earth ingredients, and stop giving the other people all my money. So, <laughs> so this is what I have. And I want to name it after my grandparents. I think they were um, absolutely amazing. And the more I find out about them being farmers and this the natural way of life that they had, I feel like that's really in alignment with what I want to do. The second businesses that I have is Alexander Renee Photography. I'm based in McKinney, Texas. I love telling stories. So I'm a visual storyteller and I do that through pictures. So follow me on Instagram at Alexander Renee Photography. Thank you. Okay, and I wanna tell you all about my business, which is the time is now, Nutrition and Energy. I'm located at 400 North Central Expressway, McKinney, Texas, 75070. And what I do here is I sell healthy meal shakes. I sell great energy teas. I carry multivitamins. We do Zumba here six days a week, Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock, Saturday, 9 o'clock in the morning until 10 o'clock. Come out and enjoy. Mm. Oh, hold on, I gotta put my mask on. It's like, who are you? Who are you, Nicole? Who am I? I was like, why is she looking at Nicole's face like that? <laughs> Don't you remember your name? <laughs> the candle thing. Y'all saw the butterflies. Y'all know I'm struggling over here. <laughs> Put my lid on. No, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Woo. So, um, lessons and losses. Lessons. Lessons. <laughs> Lessons and losses. Lessons. Losses, not lessons. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get, let me, here, here we go. Boom. Let me see. Hold it up for me. Losses. No. Losses. Lessons. Lessons, not losses. Wait a minute. That didn't even sound right. This is going to be in the outtakes. Jeesh. Losses, lessons. Lessons, not losses. Lessons, not losses. Cut that out. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Cut it. Where's Kaysen when we need him? Yeah. Can I talk now? <laughs> you want me to cut the camera? You want me to cut him? Oh my gosh. That is so funny. We out. Two tears. <laughs>